The Lord be with you. It is good that we gather together around God's word as we prepare for this, the third Sunday in Advent, December the 13th. Remembering the theme for this week is the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ brings true rejoicing even under the cross. Let us pray. We pray in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Old Testament reading is from the prophet Isaiah, the 61st chapter, verses 1 through 4 and 8 through 11. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor, and he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to grant to those who mourn in Zion, to give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the garment of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastation of many generations. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrong. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their offspring shall be known among the nations and their descendants in the midst of the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge them that they are an offspring the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exult in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself like a priest with a beautiful headdress, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its sprouts, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to sprout up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to sprout up before all the nations. This is the word of the Lord. We now meditate upon this word of the Lord from the Lutheran Study Bible. The servant Messiah will come bringing good news and everlasting joy to the redeemed of Israel. As broken-hearted souls, we must confess the sinful cause of our poverty and brokenness. Our dire straits are due to our sinful condition, a condition from which we cannot free ourselves. Jesus brings liberty for all held captive by sin and death, by his death and resurrection. He has delivered us from the shame of our sin, clothed us in his own righteousness, and made us to be his holy priest. Let us pray. O Lord God, teach us not to rely on the tattered fabric of our own works and accomplishments. Lead us to be comforted each day in your robe of righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are bold now to pray together as our Father has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>